Now, uh, my councillor Tegwen Devichand um, is our way near Kangor Gavardin. Tegwen Devichand, deputy leader of Carmarthen County Council and 50s plus champion with them as well. And she'll talk for about 10 minutes about the council and what it's doing to help older pe people live fulfilled lives. She's also an executive board member for housing. And I always go back to the days, remember the old days? When by, if you got married, the first house you had was the front room of your parents' house. <laughs> when you put your, your name down for a list for a councillor's. Yeah. And if you knew a councillor, <laughs> you went to see them in the dead of night. <laughs> and your name went up the list quietly. And people wondered, well, how do they, how do they qualify then? You know? They've only got three children. For heaven's sake, we got five. We've been here for years. Right. Rokroso de i Kamvoriz Tegwen Devichand. Tegwen. Can I firstly say that doesn't happen today, I can assure you. <laughs> I know some people still think it does, but it doesn't. Anyway. <laughs> You may think it's a long speech, it isn't. I just made it big enough so I could actually see it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Boda Paub. Welcome to this year's 50s Plus Forum annual event. As you can see from your program, the day has a lot to offer everyone. There are information stands in the Great Glass House, a range of activities and taster sessions, including crafts and reflexology as well as guided walks from the 50s Forum on Walking Well project. All of this is in addition to the botanical interest and landscape of the botanical gardens. An excellent venue for our day together, I'm sure you'll agree. In fact, I think we should have made this bigger because there's so many people who wanted to come here and have to go around the gardens. But there we are. I'm very pleased you to be here today as Deputy Leader and 50s Champion. I am proud of Carmarthenshire's 50 Forum and the support the Council has given to its growth and development. Standing here today congratulating the 50s Forum with an excess of 2,100 members, it is worth reminding ourselves where we have come from. Back in 2003, the Welsh Government, through its strategy for older people, asked local government to set up a 50s plus forum in each local authority area. Not only is your forum one of the largest in Wales, I would suggest it is also one of the most effective. As well as running beneficial projects, as Caroline has explained, forum members regularly tell the council what they think on important topics. This is absolutely essential to us delivering what people need not what we think they need. At a time when budgets have never been tighter, the views of older people even more essential. I will return to the subject of budgets later in my talk. Before I do that, I just want to mention some improvements we are making to services. In response to better meeting the needs and wishes of older people, the Council is supporting the development of new extra care housing in Carmarthen and Ammonford. The idea of these schemes is that they make the most of what older people can do, while supporting the things people may not be able to do on their own. The Cutter of Kinner scheme in Carmarthen has 61 self-contained apartments, 11 of which are special, specifically designed for people with dementia. It is set to open later in 2015. The Ammerford scheme has 50 apartments, and as with Carmarthenshire, the scheme includes space for activities and socialization, socialize, socializing. As Executive Board Member for Housing, I am particularly pleased that the very real needs of older people are being met in this forward-thinking way. These new extra care schemes are part of a new approach to helping older people get the most from life. On this note, clear evidence shows that older people who suffer abuse, and there are many types, including physical and financial, are stopped from getting the most from life. For this reason, the Council are very actively promoting adult safeguarding, particularly by working with the police 
on the health service through the Commandantshire Adult Safeguarding Board. I firmly believe that every person has the right to live free from neglect and abuse. Our partnership with the police and health service is also essential in our determination to tackle rogue traders. Rogue traders can be very persuasive and can appear very genuine. Some people are tricked more than once. We are driving forward a test project in the Llanelli area to do what we can to prevent people being tricked out of sometimes substantial amounts of money. Trading standards are actively tackling telephone scams, particularly when fraudsters are deliberately and repeatedly targeting vulnerable people. As a responsible executive board member, I just want to make a few other comments about housing. Our strong partnership with Care and Repair has led to over 1,000 small repairs or adoptions being done on private housing. These small but vital pieces of work can often mean the difference between ill health or accident and living a full and independent life. Care and Repair have a stand in the glass house and would be pleased to talk to people about the service that they give. Housing services have also done a great deal of work in helping people in fuel poverty uh, access the government government sorry the Welsh government's nest program the scheme can include new heating and more insulation which can have a major effect in reducing heating costs in Carmarthenshire the average amount spent on improvements is 5000 pounds per house resulting in an average saving of 500 pounds on your fuel bill Finally, for housing, I'm pleased to say that we're installing Wi-Fi in all our sheltered housing complexes. It gives me such pleasure to see older people using technology. Some residents now use Skype to keep in touch with family and friends, and the world of the internet opens up so many possibilities for people. I briefly want to update members on the recycling project run by the council and Age Kamrusi Gar. You may recall that this project was set up following feedback from the 50s plus forum about how recycling could be increased amongst homebound older people. It was clear that many wanted to recycle more, but were not able to get to recycling sites. The project works by volunteers visiting people's homes to provide advice and to help people with their recycling. The project is a clear example of where the council posed the question and the 50s plus forum delivered the answer. Please visit their stand for further information. The council has to consider very substantial questions of financial nature. In setting its budget for 2015 and beyond, the council needs to hear from you, as many people as possible. One of the questions, should the council provide certain services? Or should other organisation provide those services? Today, a number of council staff will be going around asking you for your views. I know there is much to see and do here today, but please pause to spend a few minutes to tell us what you think. There will be other opportunities to give your views, but there is so much for us to learn from talking individually. One to one, I would like to finish off by wishing you all well. As 50s champion, I believe the 50s plus forum has strength in numbers. The fact you now have over 2,000 members is a major achievement. Keep going the way you are, and I would be surprised if you don't hit 3,000 by next year. Thank you for listening, and I hope you make the very most of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Talking about around e Teguen when I'm more than Sharon and Better Technical, uh the NTL and or NT. I am doing my very best with technology in the house and computers and so on. But when it breaks, I have my son come down to repair it, and he has told my wife that the real problem with the computer is the space between the computer and the chair. And she said, What do you mean? Well, dad sits in it. And that's where the problem is. <laughs>